One. I'm with Wuhuran, the official Fedora advocate here at the Amazon Singapore Summit. I have a question for him. Yes. What, why is my Fedora not upgrading? I think because uh, I will have to blame the problem with the conference Wi-Fi. Uh, this is a, a machine on the internet, an EC2 machine with a very fast internet connection. Uh, then I have to blame the SSD. The original problem was that I was stuck on Fedora 23, is that correct? Yes. So every six months, am I supposed to upgrade every incrementally? Yes. By doing that DNF upgrade system, da da da. And then yes. Or, or you can use, or you can change the raw height, and then it updates. Or it always keeps you on the latest branch. So if someone's running a service on Fedora, is this what the is this what would you recommend that the system administrator upgrades every six months or runs raw height? Um. If they are running it for server, I would recommend them to update every six months. Yes. And then going through the whole pattern of like backup everything and uh, it doesn't seem very reasonable to me. Well, you can switch to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Is that the idea? How does, it, how does Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, solve this problem? It's very, very stable. So you, you pretty much don't have to update until probably eight years later. How do you keep the security stuff, how do you keep stuff patched for security reasons? So Red Hat does do, do have security patches as well. It, and you stay you still stay on the same version. Uh oh, what, what happened there? What happened is here? Uh, this is a weird error. Wow, what the heck? Probably something wrong with the signature key. Let's see if it can be rerun. Do you run Red Hat yourself? I only run Fedora. I'm, I'm too broke to run... I'm too broke to run Enterprise version of it. Holy crap. I have a broken Fedora system here. Well, I'll send you the log and maybe you can help me. Otherwise... I'm not very impressed with Fedora. I actually run Arch Linux in production, which is a rolling update. And don't have to jump hoots by putting 23, 24, 25. You just do Pac-Man SYU, boom, you're up to date. What do you have to say about that? Well, every Linux distribution have their own benefit. So if you prefer certain flavors, yeah, you, you probably like to stay on that one. To Fedora's credit, they have very good system D integration. Uh, which also Arch Linux has. But I think it's a little bit more polished for absolute noobs. Are you a noob? Uh, above, slightly above noob. I think that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.